Number 76, a 2.50 liter sample of a colorless gas at STP decomposed to give 2.5 liters of N2 and 1.25 liters of O2 at STP. What is the colorless gas? Okay. So first thing that I would say is if they're giving us information about multiple components or compounds or molecules, we have to write a balanced equation. But the problem here is that they didn't tell us what the gas was. We have to find it. But maybe we could figure it out by trying. I know that this is a decomposition reaction, so I should technically have only one compound here on the reactant side, whatever that is. That's the colorless gas, aka blue. <laughs> and this will decompose and break down into N2 and O2. Okay. So I have N2 plus O2. Now, let's look at these volumes that they give us. They told us that I had a 2.5 liter sample of the colorless gas. So I know that the reactant, whatever this is, is 2.50 liters. And they said that we have 2.50 liters of N2 and 1.25 liters of O2. Okie dokie. So now let's see, what is the colorless gas? Well, remember, whatever the elements are over here has to be in this gas. So since I have two elements, I have nitrogen and I have oxygen, I know that my compound has to consist of nitrogen and it has to consist of oxygen, but I don't know what these values are. So maybe I'll label them as X and Y. Now let's look at the liters. Since everything was at STP, that's standard temperature and pressure, STP, that means that the temperature was the same and the pressure was the same. If that's the case, at STP, we will treat the liters or the volumes as mole ratios. So we can just pretend that these are mole values. Now, if we're saying that we have 2.5 liters or 2.5, or maybe I'll put this in parentheses, right, 2.5 moles of N2, and we have the same amount of liters, aka the same amount of moles, how many nitrogens do you think we have? On this side, we had two of them. So how many do you think we have? Yeah, two. So I'm going to get rid of this, and maybe I'll get rid of this blue thing. I'm going to get rid of the X, and I'm going to have two of them right? Now we just have to find out what the oxygens are. Well, if we had 1.25 liters of O2 and I have 2.5 liters of this, what do you think is going to happen? Or what do you think the ratio is? Well, it looks like this amount is two times more than this amount. Now this is where we have to do some um, balancing, right? If I have N2, right, and I have N2 here, if I wanted to balance it, there would be no coefficient, or basically the coefficient would be a 1 and a 1. So let's see. If I keep this as a 1, right, and this is 1.25 liters and this is 2.5, basically what, what is going on here? So now remember, 1.25 liters is basically the same thing as saying that I have 1.25 total moles of oxygen, right? Now in this case, if the numbers matched, right? If we had 2.5 moles and 1.25 uh, moles, if the numbers matched, this would have been a 2 as well. But now what's going on? I started off with 1.25 moles and I wound up with one, sorry, I started with 2.5 moles and I wound up with only 1.25 moles. So what did I do? I essentially had to take this and divide it by two to get 1.25. So how many oxygens do I have if I divided it by two? Yeah, I just have one, because technically it would have been two, 
But since I divided it by 2, I have to do that to the subtract. And 2 divided by 2 is just 1. Whoa, it's just 1, right? And technically, if you have a 1 subscript, you don't have to write that. So that would basically be the final answer. And if you wanted to just um, balance the equation, you would need a 1 half here if we kept the 1s over here. That's essentially what we did, right? 2.50 times a half is 1.25. So the compound would just be N... 2 oh. And that is it. Okie dokie. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you want to, please subscribe to the channel. That will help us out tremendously. We're almost at 10,000 subs. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Thank you so much. And let's keep learning. Okay. Bye-bye.